First of all, I mean, I think you would agree with the premise that our, our form of government has been strong because politicians accept the outcomes of elections, especially the most notable example in, in recent history with uh, then-Vice President Al Gore um, conceding after the, the very intense Florida recount. I, I want you to take a look at what a Trump supporter, Dan Bowman of Ohio, told the Boston Globe. Quote, if she's in office, I hope we can start a coup. She should be in prison or shot. He's a 50-year-old contractor. <laughs> There's going to be a, a lot of bloodshed, but that's what it's going to take. I would do whatever I can for my country. There are a lot of Republican yeah. officials who are very concerned about Donald Trump constantly saying that the system is rigged, saying that if he loses well, a state such as Pennsylvania, it's only because it will be stolen. And now we have a Trump supporter calling for bloodshed. Are you not concerned at all about the tone and tenor of, well, of these remarks? Uh, I uh, have I've dealt with wacky jerks on my side and against me for too long uh, to blame it, on, blame it on the candidate. You can find just as many wacko nuts on her side that write us horrible and awful things. So uh, when he talks about a rigged election, he's not talking about the fact that it's going to be rigged at the polls. What he's talking about is that 80 to 85 percent of the media is against him. That when you look at the New York Times and you pick it up every morning, on the top of the paper, there are three stories that are anti-Trump. Uh, some of them totally baseless, some of them silly. And then at the bottom, you get a little something about WikiLeaks. What? Or uh, same thing with the Washington Post. I mean, they're way out of control. The Daily News, clown outfits of uh, Okay, of, of but Donald Mr. Trump. May, I, I understand that that's so the, that that's, that's what the, that's and, the, and, you, and you know that, please, let me finish. You let Nancy Pelosi go on for like two, three minutes without interrupting her. Now, uh, the reality is, the reality is that well, he makes it clear. He points right at you at the press. He, he makes it clear who he thinks is rigging the Then election. why does he call for people to go to elections, to, to, to go to polling places, to be oh. election monitors? Why does he okay. say, if okay. I lose Pennsylvania, it there will are, be because that it's stolen? Pennsylvania okay. State that hasn't gone there Republican are, since 1988. There are, there, are a, uh, uh, there are a few places, and not many in the, in, in the swing states, there are a few places where they've been notorious for stealing votes. Pennsylvania, Chicago, there have been places where a lot of cheating has gone on over the years. I know that from my own knowledge of uh, busing people in from Camden, uh, when I ran for mayor of New York City uh, the first time, uh, some people voted eight and ten times. And the second time, I had, uh, I had uh, 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 firefighters and uh, police officers outside checking on the buses. So we take down the number of the bus. The bus had voted ten times, and then we wouldn't let the bus vote again. So and when I, when I asked Randy Levine, who's now president of the Yankees, who did this for me, I said, how much of the cheating did we stop? He said... Uh, I think we stopped about 75 percent of it. We're still going to have to give him about 25,000 votes. So I'm, I'm sorry. Dead people generally vote for Democrats rather than Republicans. So he's not talking about elections being stolen, except in some cases when he is talking yeah, about elections I would, being stolen. I, I would be. T I, if, you, if you want me to tell me that I think the election of Philadelphia and Chicago is going to be fair, I would have to be a, a moron to say that. 